Well, hello and welcome back to another video here in beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. It's a beautiful evening, an hour, an hour and a half before sunset. You wouldn't think so because it's overcast and cloudy and things don't look that good. But what I'm trying to do today is over there in the distance, there's a lighthouse called Atkinson Point Lighthouse. I photographed that lighthouse before. I was on the other side of the bay. I'm gonna link up that video that I shot then. And today I wanna take a photo of the lighthouse from here with my zoom lens zoomed in all the way. I don't know if the lighthouse has a light that shines at night, that would be awesome. But even if it doesn't, I'm still uh, thinking we can get some, uh, some good photos of it. So this is Acadia Beach. I've never came all the way here before. I've been there back that way. But this is the dog park that ends right here. And uh, look at this beautiful river here. Creek. I think I'm gonna set up here because I'm a little bit sheltered if uh, the rain starts pouring a bit heavier. And uh, yeah, I'll get out my tripod and my camera and set up for a frame. If you continue this way on this beach, you're gonna get to Wreck Beach, the famous nudist beach in Vancouver. Actually, this section it is Wreck Beach here. It's a bigger beach, so all of it is called Wreck Beach, but the nude section, it's way down there. Yeah, so today that's all I'm looking to get, just that lighthouse with the mountain in the background at the blue hour. So we have a little bit of waiting to do, maybe like a half an hour, 40 minutes. I hope the rain doesn't come down. It's raining now a little bit, but it's very mild, it's nothing to be alarmed of. The lighthouse does have a light, it's just a flash that flashes every like four seconds, five seconds. If I put a longer time on my exposure, for sure I'm gonna get that light. I covered my camera with my jacket here, somewhat waterproof jacket. And what I think I'm gonna do is just slap an ND filter on my camera lens and take the longer exposure that way because it's starting to rain and I don't want to be here in the rain with the camera gear outside. So I'm going to do that. Put my ND, get a couple of longer exposures and I think I'll call it a day. Let's see if it works out. already focused I used manual focus instead of autofocus because autofocus just gets thrown off with manual focus and more exact especially in this kind of weather so obviously right now I cannot see anything through the viewfinder I just uh, put a five seconds delay on my shutter here so it doesn't shake the camera when I take the photo and I'm on six seconds which still is not enough let's try I'll go to 15 seconds. Very nice rainy day. <laughs> Beautiful. We got a bunch of ships here waiting to get into the port. Now I'm at F8, 20 seconds, ISO 50. If I'm still too dark, I'm gonna put my ISO to 100. Looks like I'm better off without the ND filter on. I just took it off and now uh, I'm gonna try to shoot like that. Thing is, it's very hazy and um, you can barely see the lighthouse from here. We'll see, maybe I can manage to salvage it in uh, Photoshop. Oh man, if it wouldn't rain, this would be perfect, but uh, this little rain, I think it ruined everything. I'm never gonna get a good photo in these conditions. I just came here for nothing, looks like it. 30 second exposure, let's try that. With the filter on again at F8. I don't know if it's gonna be okay. One way to find out. Oh, 
How about this weather? Absolutely raining. Oh man. I like it. I can't say I don't, but this is not it's not good for photography. It's so hazy that way. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up. It's very hazy. The camera has problems focusing on that uh, on that lighthouse. Uh, I have problems focusing on the task. <laughs> oh man, this is such a what can I say? Come back another day. Leave to shoot another day, no? Okay, so I went from f8 to f6.3, which is the minimum I can go to on the zoom lens, zoomed in completely at 300 mil at 6.3. Looks like it clears a little bit right now, the fog, on the other side of the bay. So what I'm doing right now I remove the ND filter and uh, I can use the autofocus because the, the clouds cleared away. But right now I'm just at one second exposure and that light flashes every five seconds or so. I couldn't figure out the timing because it's kind of chaotic. Like it gives me two flashes in three seconds and then one flash every five seconds. So I want to time it to have that flash when I have my exposure going. So uh, it's a bit tricky, but I'm going to try it a couple of times. No, I was on five seconds delay. I'm gonna put it to two seconds. Let's see now. Press one, two. Yes, got it. However, yeah, I do have it. It's just not that, it's still hazy a little bit. Okay, I got it one more time, but I'm not too happy with the focus on that thing. It's still so hazy. I wanna see if I go next to the water. Okay, let's see what happens there. I'm still a bit closer, but how much closer? Is it going to make a difference or no? Probably not. Okay, so that's the furthest I can go without getting into the water. Let's frame the lighthouse again. All framed up. Switch from auto from manual focus to auto focus. Okay, come on camera. Let's see. Yeah, I did get the light, but it's still out of focus. Everything is so hazy. The rain stopped. I think I'm gonna stick around for a little bit more. We'll give it another half an hour, 40 minutes. Yeah, it looks like the clouds are starting to clear. The rain has died off a little bit. It's not that heavy as it used to be. It wasn't really heavy. It's just a little bit rainy. And as far as the focus points are concerned, uh, I'm on single point focus because I really only need that lighthouse. So I have the center focus point on the lighthouse itself and uh, the rest uh, should fall into play. Because that lighthouse is so far away, it is hard to tell if it's a focus I am doing manual focus and in live view I'm pressing the plus button to get the frame bigger so I can see where the focus is but even when I think it's good it still looks out of focus and I think it's because of the conditions here the haze and the rain and obviously that plays a part because the atmosphere it's not clean the air it's full of water particles so You know what I did? I went all the way to F32 maximum because uh, why not? It's raining anyway, it's hazy anyway, so uh, you don't want to go that high when you're shooting normal landscapes in normal conditions because uh, above F18 you run into diffraction and your photo is going to get smoother, right? It's not going to be as sharp as you want it to be. But right now I'm just going to try anything. I 
and also the reason why I put it at f32 is to drag the shutter a bit more so I can catch that light that flash of the lighthouse to be sure that I can catch it it's interesting because this is the first time that I'm only shooting one location one interest one subject the first time just one spot one subject and it's a good practice because if you do that then you really dial in your settings and your uh, framing and your composition and you can get some really nice photos uh, it starts to get dark the rain uh, doesn't go away <laughs> and uh, the haze doesn't go away the uh, atmospherics don't go away nobody goes away eventually I'm gonna have to go away I'm gonna be the only one who uh, gives up here because if there's a race between man and nature that's no race. Nature always wins. I think I'm done. One more shot, one more frame and then I'm going because uh, this is going to get only worse from here. Not only the haze will stay the same, but the light is going to go away. I'm going to have less light to work with. The conditions are going to be the same except for less light so that's going to be even worse so i'm going to i'm going to cut it i'm going to stop it here shoot a couple more frames and that's it going back to the car and uh, head home it was nice uh, for you to drop by sticking with me here in the rain keeping me company and uh, I'll see you into the next one. Hopefully the next one will be nice and uh, cozy. Well, if not nice and cozy, but better than this anyway. Cool. Peace. So, that was a flop. Man, those conditions, they just would not work for me. It was too much rain, too many clouds, and the subject was too far. That lighthouse was like almost six kilometers out. It was 5.8, I checked on Google Maps, 5.8 kilometers from my location. So it was way too far to have it sharp for those conditions. But uh, anyway, there's some lessons to be learned from this shoot. This is my first shoot that I literally came home empty handed with no photos whatsoever. The last photo that you saw in the video, that was the best of the bunch. But by no means that is a good photo. I just put it there because that's the best and I wanted you to see what I got. But that is not a good photo. It's way too noisy. It is not sharp and the water is not smooth enough. It was way too choppy, even with a 30 second long exposure. So I should have went to one minute, one and a half, maybe two minutes, but I didn't have an ND filter that was dark enough to carry those long exposures. So I was thinking about a couple of fixes for sh future shoots when I'm shooting in the rain and the atmosphere is all hazy and wet. First, using a polarizer. That will help punch up the contrast and the saturation so I have a better photo to work on straight from the camera. Another fix, I would say don't shoot subjects that are so far away. <laughs> or at least if I do, don't shoot them in uh, rainy conditions, right? Or if I shoot subjects that are a little bit further away, have a foreground element to help carry that photo. You know, like uh, some rocks, some boulders, some grass to help alleviate the interest from the background, from the subject, if you will, and uh, put a little bit of interest on the foreground as well. So those are the two fixes that I can think of. Overall, it was a fun shoot. Sometimes these things happen. You just come home empty handed with photos that are not worth sharing even. Maybe that photo, the last one that you saw is uh, okay for Instagram, but <laughs> for uh, putting it as a wallpaper or um, printing it out, 
Definitely no, definitely no. What can I say? Live and learn. I definitely want to go back to that location when it's uh, better weather and photograph the lighthouse again from the same spot that I did now. Because I do think there is a beautiful photo to be had from that location with that lighthouse at blue hour or at sunset, depends. I will definitely shoot another video from there when I go and uh, we'll see if that time I will do better than this time. So thanks again for stopping by. I hope you learned something from this video. I sure did. Next time, if I'm shooting in the rain, I will definitely use a polarizer. So uh, thanks again and uh, take care. Cheers.